kicking it like a one-legged swimmer. Yo, scoundrels, things are a little crazy in our world. Paul and CG are out on the outer rim and a little dust up and uh, I'm just here on the Centurion Vulture alone. So I figured, uh, what the hell, I'll give you guys a rewind and then next week we'll do a two for one episode. So, you know, let's get into this BS. Mandalorian, season three, episode seven, The Spies. We pick up the adventure on Coruscant. It should be no surprise that hard ass officer chick is there. She converses with Moff Gideon via an Imperial Pro Droid. She informs them that the Mandalorians are united and have been meddling into shit. Moff Gideon is doing just fine, y'all, and he always has the coolest troopers around him. And it also looks like he has a few clones stashed away. Moff joins a council of Imperial officers, and we, as an audience, learn Thrawn is out there somewhere. Ooh. Meanwhile, back on Navarro, the Mandalorian Group A unites with Mandalorian Group B. Mandalorian Group A flexes on Mandalorian Group B, but Gold Helmet breaks the tension by clanking hammers together and announcing a feast. Action Jackson turns up with some space tequila. And wait for it, IG-11. Wait, it's IG-12, I mean. It looks like IG-12 is just a mech suit of sorts, and it's a perfect size for Baby Yoda. During the Mandalorian feast, Bo-Katan waxes poetic. She proposes they all go and hang out on Mandalore. When they get to Mandalore, they happen to run into old buddies. And these cats know where the Great Forge is. Very convenient. Mandalorians will be Mandalorians. On their way to the Forge, Central Casting Mando fights Fat Neck Little Helmet Mando, only to be broken up by Mech Suit Baby Yoda. But don't get too relaxed, you hippies. A massive beast emerges and fucks up their sailing ship, forcing the Mandalorians underground. While underground, Moff Gideon's special clone-looking jetpack troops ambush their ass. Oh no, Mando is captured, and Moff Gideon has a Beskar suit? Fuck. Thick Neck Little Helmet stays behind to hold off the troops while the Mandalorians escape. Thick Neck holds his own until these First Order looking red troops emerge and finish him off. Kinda sad. Shit's fucked up, Mando is captured, and all seems lost. But does Gold Helmet have anything to do with his ambush? Fade to black and scene. Yeah, we'll be back next week, two for one special. Until then, scoundrels, keep your nose clean. We out.